Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about addition of integers. The set of integers is consist of all positive whole numbers, all negative whole numbers, and zero is represented as shown below. When a number is written without any sign, it is considered to be positive, but negative number must be written with a negative sign. Another way of showing the set of integers is using a reference point on a number line. So zero is the origin. Numbers to the right of zero are positive, therefore they are greater than zero. Numbers to the left of zero are negative, therefore they are less than zero. Now before we proceed, Let's answer first the activity. Give the absolute value of the following integers. Mathematicians used absolute value to describe the distance of the number from zero on a number line. So the distance is always a positive value. It is denoted by two bars. So let's have the first one. Absolute value of 8 is positive 8. Absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. Absolute value of positive 12 is positive 12. Absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. And absolute value of 0 is 0. Because 0 is neither positive nor negative. So it has no sign. Now in addition of integers, we can use different ways. The first one is colored counters. The second one is number line. The third is the rules for adding integers. As you noticed, the first two given are having the same sign or also called like signs. The other two givens are having different signs or also called unlike signs. Now let's start with 3 plus 2. As you can see, they are same signs. They are both positive integers. Let's have the first method. Colored counters can be used to model this problem. It comes into two different colors, green for positive and red for negative. Two counters, negative and a positive, is called zero pair. That means it has no value so we can cancel or remove it. So here, the given 3 plus 2 are both positive. Therefore, we have to use the green counters only that represent positive integers. Since there is no negative integers, so we have no zero pair to cancel or remove. So we have three green counters plus another two green counters. Just combine and count all the green positive counters and the result is five. The second method is using the number line. Always start at zero or the origin. We're going to move 3 units to the right because that is positive 3 and another 2 units to the right because that is positive 2. So as you can see, it ends at positive 5. Thus, 3 plus 2 equals 5. The third one is the rules in adding integers. So take note, add the absolute values and keep the sign common to both integers. So therefore, positive plus positive equals positive. Next given is negative 1 plus negative 2, and they are same signs or both negative. So again, take note that positive and negative colored counters are equal to 0. Since there is no positive integer, so we have no 0 pair to cancel or remove. Here, we are going to use the red counters only that represent negative integers. So we have one red counter plus another two red counters. Just combine and count all of them and the result is negative three. Next, using the number line, always starts at zero or origin. Move one unit to the left for the given is negative 1. And from that point, move another 2 units to the left for the given negative 2. As you noticed, it ends at negative 3. Thus, 
negative 1 plus negative 2 equals negative 3. And the rules for that is the same as we have on the first given because they are both negative or same sign. So add the absolute values which is positive 1 and positive 2 we have positive 3 and keep the sign common to both integers. So we have negative. Negative plus negative is equal to negative. Now let's have the different signs or unlike signs. We have negative 5 plus positive 3. So here we have positive and negative integers. So we can cancel or remove the zero pair. For negative 5, let's use 5 red counters that represent negative integers. For positive 3, let's use 3 green counters for positive integers. Now as you can see, we have 3 sets of zero pair to cancel or remove. Then count the remaining which are 2 red counters. So the result is negative 2. Next, using a number line. Always start at 0 or origin. Move 5 units to the left for negative 5. Then, from that point, moving back to the right for positive 3. So as you can see, that ends at negative 2. Thus, negative 5 plus positive 3 equals negative 2. So take note, negative plus positive, the rules there is subtract the absolute values. So we have positive 5 and we have positive 3. And the answer is positive 2. Then, keep the sign of the integer which is greater absolute value. So negative 5 is greater than 3. Therefore, the sign will be negative. Let's continue with another different signs or unlike signs given 4 plus negative 1. Here, if the succeeding or next number is negative, always separate the plus and the negative sign using open and close parentheses. As you can see, we enclose negative 1 to separate it with plus. Using colored counters, 1 positive plus 1 negative is equivalent to 0. For positive 4, we are going to use 4 green counters to represent positive integers. And for negative 1, 1 red counter to represent negative integer. Then cancel or remove 1 pair of positive and negative. And count the remaining so it leaves us 3 green counters. The result is positive 3. Next, using the number line, always start at 0 or origin. Move 4 units to the right for positive 4. From that point, moving back 1 unit to the left for negative 1. And it ends at positive 3. Thus, 4 plus negative 1 equals positive 3. Now, for different signs or unlike signs, again, we have the same rules. Subtract the absolute values, 4 minus 1, we have 3, then keep. When we say keep, we copy the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. So, positive 4 is greater than negative 1, therefore, positive will be the sign of our answer. Now, to sum it up, the rules for adding integers given like signs, positive plus positive equals positive. Negative plus negative is equal to negative. So, add the absolute values and keep the sign common to both integers. Now, for the unlike signs, given positive plus negative or negative plus positive, always subtract the absolute values and keep or copy the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. Let's do more. Add. Use the rule for adding integers. Let's have the first one, 6 plus 5. So they are both positive, so the answer is positive 11. 
2. 9 plus negative 4. So as you can see, they are different or unlike sign. So we're going to subtract the absolute value 9 minus 4. We have 5. Then follow or keep or copy the sign of the bigger number which is positive 9. So the answer is positive 5. Next, number 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is the same as 3 minus 3. So that is equal to 0. Number 4. 4 plus negative 8. So as you can see, they are different or unlike sign. So we're going to subtract the absolute value 8 minus 4. We have 4. The negative 8 is greater than positive 4. So the answer is negative 4. Number 5. Negative 1 plus negative 7, so they are both negative or same sign. So we're going to add the absolute value 1 plus 7, we have 8. Then follow the sign or keep the sign, we have negative 8. Next, for number 6, we have two or more addends. Therefore, we're going to combine first the same sign. We have positive 1 and positive 5. And that is equal to 6. Then copy plus negative 3. Then perform the operation. As you can see, they are unlike or different sign. So we're going to subtract the absolute value 6 minus 3. We have 3. Then follow the sign or keep the sign of the bigger absolute, which is positive 6. So the answer is positive 3. Next, for number 7, negative 4 plus negative 5 plus 1, 2 or more addends. Again, combine the same sign. We have negative 9 and then we copy plus 1. Then, unlike sign, we are going to subtract the absolute value 9 minus 1. We have 8. Then, follow the sign of the bigger absolute, which is negative 9. So, the answer is negative 8. Now it's your turn to eat yourself. Find the sum of the following integers. Number 1, 10 plus 23. Number 2, negative 15 plus 4. Number 3, 16 plus negative 9. Number 4, negative 18 plus negative 12. Number 5, negative 13 plus 5 plus negative 8. Don't forget to comment down below your answer. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!